Good morning guys, I am Organite, I'm Sarah from 190, welcome back to my channel, today I'd like to show you guys, oh man, a lot of things. I'm gonna make a mob catcher version 3 today with this contraption, this is an automatic, um, it's a sorting device, okay, so it's using filter hoppers, and what happens is it will sort every single one of these items into the respectable cases. And as you know, I like to have things nice and neat and tidy, and that's just the best way to do it, I think. So you don't have to worry. So you can just come along and throw all your crappy blocks in. And some of the blocks that you don't want, that you don't make cases for, like if you throw them in like junk blocks, they will just end up in this junk chest. In the trunk junk. And that's how that works. This is really simple build, guys, and it's very easy. And I'd like to show you right now how it's done. So I'm going to add it right here, guys. See that chest right there? Let's turn this on. When I turn this on, all the carts come out. They collect all the mobs in the previous video if you'd like to know how this is built. Go ahead and check. So we're going to add on to this, right? So as we can see, we just caught a cow. So that steak and all of the things that come with the cow is going to come out into the chest. As you can see, there they are popping out. And I open it up and it's all in it. So I want all these items here that I collect sorted out in individualized chests. So let's get building, shall we? There goes a sheep. That's awesome. So what we're going to want to do is build this contraption. This chest will be that chest that we were just looking at over there. So let's build all of that. So what we need for this to work is a normal... Uh, we need a trap chest, okay? And we need hoppers, lots of hoppers, a, a, a comparator, a repeater, redstone dust, and a normal chest as well. Okay, so... And, and a block of choice. So we need a normal chest and a, dis and a trap chest. Okay, so let's turn this device off with a switch or the lever. As you can see, it will collect the cuts and it will turn off because it's very noisy. Okay, so we want to dig a hole underneath this chest will be our entry chest. So we want a nice large... Because I'm in my creative flatland, I can't dig deep enough. So let's now go into in my survival, survival world and now I can actually dig a lot deeper. So let's dig deep. So now we have a nice big space. So now we have the things we need. We also need item frames. Now we have everything. Oh, and redstone torches. Okay, so now underneath our collection chest, which gets all the loot, we want to hopper underneath it like this. I need to crouch place, so I'm going to have to stand on a block. Okay, so I'm going to whack that down. So you can see it's facing down. We don't want that. All the junk's going to fall out. So we actually want it bent to the right. Like this. Okay, so we want it going into a chest. Out of the chest, I'm sorry. Into the hopper, and then... We want it going all the way across, so let's make every hopper face into itself all the way to the end where the junk chest will be, where we have all of our crap loot that we don't actually need. Okay, so that's that chest there. So have it going into there. So let's crouch place into, not in the wall. And I've lost all my stuff. So all that stuff we'll just collect for now. And uh, okay, it's daytime, so let's keep going. So now we have the top chest going all the way into the back chest. That's very simple. That is step one. We've done it. So let's do step two. Okay, now we're doing step two. You want to get a block of choice and make a line all the way across. It's pretty much in front of those hoppers, but not underneath that chest. So we don't need one under that chest. So now we're going to put hoppers faced into every single one of those blocks, except for the one under the chest. So you can see it's like, this is a temporary block, so we can get rid of this block right now. So now we have hoppers facing out into nowhere land. So now we want it to have a trap chest, a regular chest, and we want to go between those all the way to the end. Okay, so now we want hoppers faced inside of those chests by crouch placing into them. So we have three rows of chests. We've got the top row, the middle row, and the bottom row. So behind the bottom and middle row, you want to dig six, uh, three blocks high, two wide, just to make a bit of space. It doesn't really matter how high or wide, just enough that you got plenty of room. Because we want another line here of a block of choice. And we're going to put comparators facing out. So let's dig a bit high. And we put the comparators facing out. And that's coming out from the center line of the hoppers. So that's where it's going to register. Okay, so now we want to put another... We're going to make it a little bit more room again so we can breathe and put another line after those comparators and another line. So you've got two more lines 
of block of choice after that and just put redstone on top of every single one of those. Now we want another line. So this line is going to be one more block down. So we've got a block of choice going down like this in a line. And we're also going to put redstone dust on the top of that as well. So let's dig underneath that two blocks wide or three and dig it all out. So we got lots of room. We've got plenty of room for activities under there. Okay, so now we're going to use the block of choice again for another line because on this block we're going to have we're going to have to move this out of the way, sorry. We're going to have to have repeaters facing out. So there we go. So now we have our repeaters. You can put that block back and then put the redstone back on top. No harm, no fear. And break a block in front of that block and put your redstone torches on it. There we go. So that block is coming out from those repeaters and then we have the redstone torches. So in front of the redstone torches put another line and you're done. This is pretty much the complexity that is the redstone part of this build. Now we, what we want to do is fill those filters up. So that center line, we'll worry about that after. So let's put our item frames on each one of those so we can decide what items we want to go in there. So I'm not going to put all of my items in there just yet. For the tutorial, I'll just make it short. Whoops. And you might want to, you might want a, a source block, a solid block, I'm sorry, on top of there so you don't lose your cart. So let's get a solid block out, not a glass block and put that behind the cart. There we go, that's just fixed. Okay. For you guys that don't have the mob catcher connected, don't worry about this bit. Okay, so you can actually block that up. Let's put glass there so you can still open the chest, but yet block that area. There we go. Okay, what was I doing? Okay, so we're back to finding out what items we wish to use. So I'm gonna pick out about four different items I like. So let's get some of the cooked pork chops, I reckon. Um, we're not going to use the minecart. I don't know how that got in there. So let's get some get some of that. Get some string, leather, and some rotten flesh and gold. Whack all that in together. So they're, they're probably going to be the ones I'll use. And the raw beef. There we go. And maybe the arrows. We'll see how we go for time. Okay, so let's um, put the pitcher on first. This is a much easier way to do this. So you don't forget where you want your items to go. So these are going to sort out these items here. Automatically. AFK because it's connected to the, the catcher see so so what you want to do in the center line of the, every single one of those hoppers is Fill up an easy block to get dirt blocks preferably you want to put four of those on the ends Leaving one space at the front of every one of those hoppers in the center So that's very easy to do so do that and now we're nearly there so now what you want to do guys is get at least it doesn't matter how many at first, but you're not going to start seeing results until you get at least 41 is the number of each of those items. The reason why is because 41 seems to be the limit number in which it can hold. It's hard to explain, so let me show you. I've got 44 in there right now. It will count down to 41. It will stay on 41 forever, but every other part that comes through the 41 will go straight into your chest. It's just the way the filter system seems to be working. So let's put the string in. That's a whole stack but that will go down to 41 as well. And let's do the same with the leather. I'll put a stack in there. So the, lim the minimum is 41. You only have to find 41 pieces of gold, you know. So with this contraption, it's not too hard to do that. And oh yeah, I should have done slimes. That's one of my favorite blocks. But anyway, we can do that next time. So there we go, we have about five. That, that, uh, that should that, that should do for now. Okay, so let's get this ass let's get this bastoid into the track. And there we go. So we're gonna find some loot. And instead this time it's not gonna go into our chest. Like we would imagine, like usual. It's gonna go straight through the chest. It's not gonna go in here anymore. It's now gonna get filtered out into the respectable chest. Completely sorted out. And it's also completely AFK. Okay, okay, and there we go. Let's chuck everything in there real quick and see what happens. So we got the rotten flesh going nowhere because it's not registered. So hopefully that will end up in the garbage. Very, very cool. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe or like or both. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow.